Dickens wins a free appetizer with a $10 purchase of the Mellow Mushroom and Wilder. You must visit Facebook.com slash Mellow Mushroom Wilder. I thought tonight was one of our most complete games, and it needed to be because of uh, who we were playing. Uh, both offensively and defensively, I, I felt like our kids were, were focused and made very few mistakes. Uh, and to their credit, I mean, when you have, if you're in a major college basketball game and you only have five turnovers against a tremendous experienced team, you've done a heck of a job. I think you had 13 turnovers in both of the last two games. Um, tonight, only five. How were you able to limit those? We just were tough with the basketball. I, we, we got back to playing very solid basketball. We had a little session in the upperclassmen and I did very good one a couple days ago. Just showed them a couple things um, and, and explained to them that, you know what, it, right, wrong, or indifferent, um, that this, we win or lose with them, not the freshmen. The freshmen are going to have their up and downs, and they understood it, and they laughed a little bit because they understood they were freshmen at one time, and they saw some things on film that they were not happy with with themselves. Um, they cost us a game down there. I don't know if we would have beaten Florida Golf because they played too well that night, but the other one um, we let get away, and we had to really, really be better on both ends of the floor. They got a lot of pride. Our guys have a tremendous amount of pride, and, and they're going to fight it out every night. What impressed you the most with tonight's victory? Who we beat. I mean, honestly, this team beat Alabama. This team beat um, Florida State. They lost to Wake Forest by two or three points. And Wake Forest just beat North Carolina State. I mean, they're, they're a really good basketball team. They won the uh, postseason tournament last year, beating Oregon two out of three times with all four out of five starters back. This is an experienced team that knows how to win on the road, um, and we were able to play one heck of a basketball game and beat them. Jones, uh, you had a career high, I think, 26 points and was on fire from the three-point line. Uh, can you talk about how you were able to stay hot? Uh, it was just my teammates. My teammates found me in the spots that uh, that I was, you know, where I was comfortable at, and, and uh, luckily I hit them. So it was a good night. Uh, you know, coach came to me before the game. And he said, you know, do you want to start or not? And I just said, you know, it really don't matter. And he's like, okay, well, you're going to start. And ever since then, you know, it was a, it was a good game. But, at this point of the year, coming off a couple of tough losses, you go with your upper class. And these guys have had two very good practices. Before we left Florida, we just started squad. We, and Barrett admit, we didn't have very good practice. And this group usually does. I mean, they've been tremendous kids on the floor and working very hard. And for whatever reason, we just we just came down a notch, and that really, really affected our play. And I think the last couple of days, these guys have really fought to bring it back. Because the freshmen, uh, uh, again, they hit the wall. They do at times. It's very difficult for them. It's a very difficult stretch. But these these four upperclassmen have really, really done a great job these last three days of practice of pulling them forward and saying, "Look, we're this we're going this way. We're going to play. We're going to compete very, very hard." And how big was it? You got you had the four threes early. You guys got the big lead early, and you're not playing from behind. How important was that? Uh, it was huge because it's been times where we be up at half, and then all of a sudden they go for like. Eight straight points, ten straight points, and then from there, it's, you know, they just cruise on, and, and so it was a it was a great win tonight. Just you know, being up at half and then just continuing what we were doing, so that was huge. And what the lead does, it allows you to, to play your pace. I thought we controlled tempo, and then we we spoke about that the last three days. We have to control tempo, um, and I thought we did it on both ends. I thought we really did. We didn't give those guys any easy. They had one, I believe, transition bucket, and that was it. Uh, but we were able to control tempo. And when you make shots, and, and even you don't even have to make shots, but you have to take good shots. And I felt like we were doing that. And when you do those things, you're able to get back in transition and not give anybody th anything easy. And, and that's what we did tonight for almost 40 minutes. And it was a very complete ball game as far as I can see. Coach, how satisfying is it to have such a complete game? Probably at least one of, if not the best game of the year in front of the, the largest student, the same student crowd I've seen this year anyway, a big excited crowd tonight. How important is that? It's very important because we want them to see a very good product and want to come back and fill those stands up. I understand it's homecoming week. Um, and they're here for that also. But I know that last game we were here with Lipscomb, we had a tremendous uh, student section before school started. So everybody wants to see good basketball. If we just flip it around out there and get our tail ends handed to it, they're not going to come back. They're not going to come back, and it's our job. And these guys have a little ego about them. They want to play in front of you know people. 
It's like anything. They're performers. They want great crowds out there and energy. It's like a play. If your play stinks, nobody shows up, there's no energy in it, heck, you, it's going to be awful to be out there. And, and these guys, like I said, you have to have a little ego about you. You have to have a little pride, and you got to want to fill those seats up. And you only do that by playing good team basketball and winning.